So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Fitbit is just not connecting to your phone. So maybe you have an iPhone of some sort or maybe you have an Android phone and for some reason it's just not connecting. Now the very first thing I'd recommend doing is going through and restarting your Fitbit. So this is probably one of the easiest things you can do. So go through, you see the side button that you have on your Fitbit, go ahead and hold the side button down until the Fitbit completely restarts. Now, if you're at the setup process like I was yesterday, then you'll have to hold this down and completely restart it. And then after a few moments, turn it back on, it'll automatically turn back on. And then you wanna go through the pairing process again. Now, if that doesn't work, most probably you're going to have to see if it's a problem with your phone. And this is the experience that I had yesterday for the first time setting my device up. So what I would recommend doing is if your Fitbit application is up to date, you can go through and just verify it by going inside of your app store like this finding the Fitbit application and reinstalling it or just re-updating it or seeing what you can do with it and seeing if you can update it, if you can reinstall it, anything like that, that'll probably end up fixing the problem. Now, you can also try going through and making sure that your Bluetooth settings are on. So within your phone that you have, click on Bluetooth and you just wanna go ahead and make sure that your Bluetooth settings that you have on your device are actually on because if they're off, then that might be a problem that you're going to run into. So go ahead and make sure it's on and on top of that, one of the biggest things I had to do that ended up fixing this was to restart my phone. So what I did was I literally just went through, held down the power buttons and my side button, slide the power off, I you know slid this thing off to power it off, I then went through, turned it back on right after that, and that ended up fixing the pairing issue. So I went through, was able to pair up my device again right after that, and that really was all I had to do there. So those were just a couple of things you can end up doing from that particular situation to fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solden.